I went to California University of Pennsylvania. It's a small Division II school out of Pennsylvania, uh, right outside of Pittsburgh, about 30, 40 minutes. Uh, I actually played my college ball there uh, all three years, and uh, actually met a good friend in Dewey McDonald, who actually recommended me to come here and train, because he did it in 2014. So uh, when he recommended me to come here and train in 15, I actually, me and my mom, we reached out to Chip, a uh, great guy. He uh, let me come in and train, man. I was training with Randall Goffrey, uh, great guy, man, linebackers coach. Great experience, man. I got a lot faster. I got a lot bigger, a lot stronger. Like I said, I added about a good 15 pounds of muscle, running faster than I ever ran. The resistance, is, uh, it pushes you to a limit that you never seen before, man. So it allowed me to be more explosive, man, with all that resistance. And it just paid off in the long run for me. So you're just gonna drop straight out. Now you're sitting back on, and even more, try to keep that knee from pushing over your toe. So you wanna, you wanna sit. Zach, Tripp, Ian, them guys push me to, and all of us, every kid that trained here, they're gonna push you to your limits, to your max and beyond. So when you get in this hard working with those guys, it just allowed me to get a lot stronger, a lot bigger, a lot more definition into my body. And, and I transfer that to the field for all the explosive movements we do in there with uh, squats and uh, vertimax jumping, just so much explosive drills that we do in the weight room that transfers onto the field as a linebacker that you need, as a DB that you need. So what those guys do is amazing. Uh, Jeff Knox just finished his second off season here with us. Uh, we did his training last year when he came out as a college senior from Cal PA. Um, then this year, he came back um, to do his off-season training back in January, the first of February, and was here for about six, eight weeks. And then he went home for a little bit and he just finished another six-week session with us. So Jeff is very committed to being the best football player he, uh, he can be. He plays up with the Saskatchewan Rough Riders in the CFL, where he actually led the league in tackles last year, 120 tackles. So had a great season. He's a tremendous young man, uh, tremendous worker, great work ethic, um, is very coachable. Also, we had Pro Day last year at Cal PA. Uh, we had one scout show up, and I was the Buffalo Bills. And they came to see me, and uh, I, to me, I did extremely well. But no team actually took me in the draft. No one took me in free agency. And, uh, and that's something I had to live with. So, like I said, was I disappointed? Yes. But like I'm a strong believer in that everything happens for a reason. And uh, God put me in a special place in Saskatchewan with the Rough Riders. Uh, out of 41 pro teams, one team gave me a shot. And uh, like I said, I got to make the best of it. Say so yeah, in college, I played running back, safety, corner, and then played linebacker in a pro league, something I never played before, and they moved me there. Uh, like I said, it was difficult in camp, but once I learned it, I, I picked up on it. Had a great season. Uh, like stat-wise, I had 114 tackles on defense. I had 10 uh, tackles on special teams. I had one interception. I had another interception in preseason. First play I played in the preseason, he yeah, got an interception. So that was a good experience, man. Good way to start the career off. As a linebacker up there, you gotta be able to run sideline to sideline. You gotta be able to cover. You gotta be a very versatile player as a linebacker there. So it just fit me perfectly when I got there. And I was in good positions where I had to guard some of the best running backs up there, some of the best slot players. And uh, like I said, I came out there and I competed every down, every play as, as a backer. And it's just a lot of success came this year. Ended up being nominated for three awards, um, Rookie of the Year, uh, Defensive Player of the Year, and MVP, uh, Most Valuable Player of the Year. And, uh, first player, I think, in history to get nominated for three different awards in one season. And as a rookie, like, to get put in that category and amongst those great people that came before me, uh, just a blessing, awesome experience. Our season ended November 8th, and after that, took some time off, let the body recover. Uh, December 8th, I was right back at it. So I got back down here. I came right back down here after the season to just start training. Go. Good work, good work. There you go. There you go. Good. Drop. 
not. Yeah. You just stay open. Stick and dry. I was here with Nate Wayne, and he trained maybe six or seven of us linebackers here. And uh, he just put us through various drills, uh, just eyes, eyes and feet, coming in and out of cuts and cones. And uh, he always want to remind us that we want to keep keep our feet in our box, stay and play like DBs, you know. But if you can have feet as good as a DB and play linebacker and hit it just as hard and, and make great tackles, uh, it just helps a lot. I'm just ex excited to show these new skills that I had that I learned from him. And uh, I know people's going to be just as shocked to see these things out of me. So, uh, Nate, I just want to thank him man, for uh, preparing me for this second season, second journey in my life, and going up to Saskatchewan this year. And I'm just ready. Now I'm ready. Season's around the corner, a couple weeks away, and I'm ready to give them all, and I'm ready to show people that I'm even better than last year. <laughs> Uh, I can tell you this, I've watched him play, I've watched him compete. Um, some NFL team's gonna get a great player next year when his contract's up in the CFL. So I'm excited to see what he does there this year. I hope he has a great season, I'm sure he will. Uh, and excited to see him move on to the NFL where he needs to be playing. Just the will, it's a will to, to be better. The will to be one of the greats. I, I wanna be remembered as one of the greatest people to ever play the game. Like, it's a long shot, it's a long way to go, but I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna work hard towards that. And that's a big goal for me. Coming from where I come from, uh, circumstances of my neighborhood, a lot of kids don't make it out. And through various different reasons, it is through violence, through uh, correctional facilities and things that, of that nature. I, uh, it's a struggle back home, man. And my drive is, I don't, I want, I don't wanna go back. <laughs> I don't want to go back and I definitely want to get my family out of that environment. So I keep that in mind every day when everyone's out uh, taking trips and having fun. And when I'm here with you guys working out from 10 to 2 every day and doing it every day, uh, that's just my motivation, my drive, my hunger. I got to get my family out of that environment. If, if I die on that football field, I'm going to let you know that. People will know that. I gave my all and I'm doing it for a good cause and I just get my family out of that situation because we don't want to go back and I don't want to go back. So there's a lot of people that pull for me after various situations that I came out of being at University of Pittsburgh, going to a Division II school. A lot of people still believed in me. And uh, that's just the Lord, man. Just a blessing to have good people like that, that uh, through any circumstances, don't leave your side. I stay by you, like you get a rare few people in your lifetime that will stick by you through anything. For have my mom, to have Chip, to have coaches, just uh, my family members, just to stay behind me and keep pushing me to be the best person I could be, on and off the field. Uh, finding faith, and, uh, believing in Christ, and being a brother of Christ now, and uh, it's just an amazing experience to know that people have your back.